portfolio. And what is that right next to you? That's the WBC interim bantamweight title that you won last night against Emmanuel Rodriguez. Um, tell me about that fight. Um, uh, it was a split decision win for you. Um, there was there were people that said that they thought you won the fight. Some people said you, they thought you lost the fight. Um, what do you think about the reactions and how do you see the fight? How did you see the fight going? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God because uh, he he gave me like the best um, condition for me and like I do I do everything for that fight. Like I, I'm for this belt, I I did everything. Like I do my best. Like in the fight, I I, I pressure so I pressure every time I work. So for me, that was a close fight. So maybe the what you call this the the judges was like they're watching the fight so i was always coming forward even though i'm i'm like carrying forward i'm always punching so maybe they they, they look at me that i i i won the fight so i was so blessed because my hard work i got this one because mm -hmm. you were supposed to fight another opponent i believe his name was jose velasquez and then they switched the fight uh, at the last a week before, and then you're moved to the main event against Emmanuel Rodriguez. Was that tough for you to adjust to the new opponent? Yeah, but my coaches, uh, Coach Moro, is there to advise me, give me some advice. And when he said that, okay, no problem, here we go, you need to fight them. And then uh, I said, okay, yeah, and it's, let's let uh, Coach Moro have a game, another game plan. So. I was like, okay, need to do like every time I change my sparring partner. So even though like one week, I do like I work. So I work like my sparring just to make my improve my stuff a little bit. Mm -hmm. So with only one week to switch to the new opponent, you had you still sparred before? Yeah, I spar like like. Um, not like not not like like hard hard punches, but only like study. So it makes sense like better. And mm -hmm. so um, you, you get in the ring with Rodriguez. He has a lot of experience. He was an Olympian, uh, long amateur career. Um, did it take you a little bit to adjust to his style because he's boxing, he's moving, he's doing some other things. He knows he has the experience. Yeah, he's a good boxer too. But like I. For me, I trusted myself, and then I trust God, and I trust my team. And for me, I need to, to work. So I need to work my my like pursue like my pursuit to win is like my ded dedication to win is that maybe that motivated me to to pressure like to coming forward always in move even though he hit me so. I will accept that and then punch more. Like I will do this. This is this is the beginning. This is the this is the opening for me. Like this is the best fight I will do. Mm -hmm. So um, well, how, how, you know you're going back to the Philippines before or after the new year? Maybe I think I'm gonna go back in Philippines like few days from mm -hmm. now because like. I need to go. I need to go back in Philippines. Yeah, yeah. I miss Philippines. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so how do you how do you plan to uh, to to celebrate there with your family in General Santo City? Yeah. Like I need. I I want to go back. Like, even though I can celebrate with them, like uh, Pasco there, mm -hmm. like Christmas. It's okay, but I will. I will gonna go back. Go home with this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, so it's been a long time for you because you've been here, you've been stuck since the pandemic. I think you arrived in February? Gen uh, January 29, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been training in there in Miami. Like, it's been a long time. Like, it's been a long time. I miss Philippines too. Like, I miss, really miss. Mm -hmm. all, the, all that time, because, you know, you were supposed to fight Payano. Uh, that fight got canceled. I think it was in August, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you were going to fight, um, you know, they were telling you Velasquez and then they fight. So you've been training this whole time. Was that hard to stay focused when you don't know when you're going to fight? Yeah. I was always controlling my weight. My coach is always controlling me. And so he's always like strict with in, in our training. So 
but I'm so happy with that because that's that's my passion to like to train every day to work. But I'm so happy too because like he's like he's like he he like to train me like like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I talked to um to uh, your promoter JC Mananquia last night. He said that you learned more in this fight than you did in all of your previous fights uh, because of the experience. Would you say that's true? And and how many uh, uh, or and what do you feel that you learned from fighting last night? Yeah, because like for now I fight at twelve rounds too. This is my second twelve rounds. Mm-hmm. My first fight was on a lot. No, no. My first fight before like finished the reach the twelve round was Stefan Young too. I win. I won like. A unanimous decision, but for now, a split. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy because the I was so happy because my hard work uh, it pays. Like God bless. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Uh, so, what do you want to do next? For now, I'll go back in Philippines and train again. Like just use what I need to train, but but to training. So go back in shape, training. That's what, that's what I need to do in Mhm. Like, you know, you, you said something interesting to me off, off camera. You said that you actually like, because now you have your own home now, right? Because, you know, with your earnings. But you actually like to live in the gym. You like living in Sandman Gym because that's, you can just get up and go to the gym right next door. Um, you know, what, what is it about living in the gym, like in the bunk beds that you liked? Yeah, because like when you, when you live in a gym, like the, like the, so your surrounding when you wake up oh it's time to run you need to run now different in the home when you're home when you wake up uh, time to oh, eat okay. <laughs> she's been sleepy okay i will sleep again so when you are in a gym like motivation mm-hmm. is in there yeah I, I, that's what i like in, in the gym too mm-hmm. and home is different mm-hmm. and one thing that people understand is that like you know while you didn't have big names on your record you had a lot of big names uh, in sparring. Uh, one interesting story I always want to ask you about. Uh, you were like 16 years old or 17 when you sparred with Zhu Ming? Yeah, before I was an amateur that, at that, that time. Mm-hmm. I heard an interesting story was that, um, you know, Zhu Ming was, was training in uh, at, at the MP gym. And JR Mananquil tells them, oh, yeah, no, he's a pro fighter. Yeah, yeah he right. can go out there and, and fight. He's got a bunch of fights and... So you were, you had only like 30 amateur fights, something like that, right? Yeah. And you get in the ring with an Olympic champion. Um, <laughs> tell me about that experience. Yeah, that was so nice experience because Su Xi Ming was, uh, he's a pro. And then he said that first that I will not, uh, they, they will not spar with me because I am not professional and that I have like not rated. So Bus J I told that, that I am like a pro. So, okay. They accept me to, to spar with them, and then I am so happy because they give me like one thousand, like I think yeah, one thousand to like the for the sparring. Mm-hmm. I was happy. I was amateur at the time. Mm-hmm. Did the Zushime didn't know that that I was uh, uh, they was that I was an amateur. Mm-hmm. Did it help your confidence that you were able to get in the ring with a, an Olympic champion? Yeah, like oh, in my mind oh, mm-hmm. this is to be like. I can I can box him like he even though he's the like the he's a good boxer I can I can fight with him. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, last night you, you, we didn't see the kind of stuff that we're used to seeing because usually your fights end in early knockouts. Like you you you've had some pretty uh, highlight real knockouts. So do you hope um, the next time that American fans see you that it could be um, you could show more of your exciting style this time? That's all, but for me, like, every time I fought, um, I always, like, put in my mind that I will not put in my mind uh, to knock my opponent. I always hoping that, like, maybe we were going to finish this round, and then we go back to decision, and I will win. Like, that's my only thing, and even though, like, sometimes uh, my last fight, like, they, they, the, my opponent was down, so... Okay, that's, that's, uh, I hit, I hit him like clear punch. So, so you're telling me that you don't intend to knock these guys out. It just happens on accident. 
Yeah, I think so. You sure? Yeah. Because I've seen sometimes where you really are yeah, but, an but aggressive I, but, fighter. Yeah, I'm doing my best every time to win. That's why I was talked out. That that's always like putting in my mind mind that like finish finish the round is good, but I need to work. Mm -hmm. Like do my do my job. Mm -hmm. So w with that belt there right next to you, um, that basically is like your golden ticket to, you know, the champions really. Because like, um, you know, right now it's a very interesting situation with the WBC because this was supposed to be for the regular championship uh, and Ubali was um, named champion in recess. And then when Donaire uh, was pulled from the fight and then it's you versus Rodriguez, then it becomes for interim. So what do you think? Like... Um, uh, are you just going to wait for the champion or see if they're going to fight you? What do you think happens next? Who do you think you're going to have to fight? I don't know yet, but it depends on my boss if what they're going to plan next. But for me, for me, like if they say, you know, are we going to fight this one? Yeah, we're going to fight it. But as long as I this, I will focus on my training. That's all I, that's all I need to do. Training, training, training. Mm hmm. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, like I would like to thank all the people who support me, like Sandman Promotion, MNR Promotion, um, William Ramirez, Ro Moro, and um, Moro, Moro Fernandez, Brigada Alliance Home Care, and Greece. Thank you for all the support, and also my Filipino supporters, Isla Lucky Trail Team. Thank you.